So the main research interest is on understanding whether the current system of targeted sanctions, which include humanitarian exemptions, so in principle trade of uh, food or medicine is excluded from sanctions, really works. And we want to know if uh, the problems that may exist are related to difficulties in financial transactions. Uh, it's a multi-method project. Uh, we are social scientists and international law scholars working together in close partnership with uh, members of NGOs, IOs and uh, some representative of the private sector and policy makers. So we're going to start with a campaign of uh, qualitative interviews with uh, such actors as those I just mentioned were involved in the trade of vital goods. And then it will be followed up by a survey that will distribute in order for us to document the sort of financial issues that these uh, exporters of goods may encounter as they try to sell or deliver these products uh, to sanction jurisdiction. And on top of that, uh, we are uh, in parallel, we have the international law scholars who help us gather and collect the legal documentation that allow us to understand the legal constraints on that type of markets. So what we want to achieve are first uh, academic publications that try to uh, answer that question and participate to the ongoing discussions on uh, the, the power of US law and the t U extraterritorial effects of US law. So it's a literature both in international law and international relation and sociology of law. We also want to foster active dialogue with uh, international organization and the private sector to try to find w how we could better uh, uh, implement humanitarian exemptions and uh, this will lead to a series of events uh, in the International Geneva on that topic at the end of the project through a dissemination conference. Mm -hmm.